What's up, friends? Enemies, potential concert buddies, welcome back to Stay Puff Metal. My name is John, and today we're going to be taking a listen to one of the most original, creative, and just fucking cool new bands in the metal world. I'm speaking of Zeal and Ardor and their song, God or Damarung, from their self-titled album that was released in early 2022. You may have already heard of this band, if you have. Fuck yeah. But if not, no worries. There's no time like today to check them out. And I am so stoked to get this song lodged in your brain. It has been stuck up here for well over a year since it was released as a single. The main riff in this song that comes up over and over again is fucking massive. And when the whole band comes in, you just want to fucking like throw a boulder to the moon because of the amount of energy that you have. In fact, if you don't want to headbang your brains out of your skull during the chorus, main riff, whatever we're going to call it, um, you might need to get a pulse check on there because I, like, I really don't know what to say to you. It's just fucking great. There is inherent groove and inherent just ah! that you get from this song. And between all of the terror and the black metal shrieks and everything else going on in this song, there is they still find time to have that moment of beauty and that kind of pause of peace before going right back into the heavy shit again. We'll talk about it. We'll listen to it. It'll be really fucking cool. So as always, for those of you that have never heard of this band before, for those of you that just want a little bit of a refresher, here is a little bit about Zeal and Ardor. Started by lead songwriter Manuel Genyu as a response to a racist post on 4chan, at its heart, Zeal and Ardor combines black metal with African-American slave music. As an entity, it asks the question, what if American slaves turn to Satan rather than adopting Christianity, the religion of their oppressors? But the band doesn't only have its foot in two genres of music. In fact, it touches on everything from soul, blues, jazz, industrial, new metal, and everything else in between, truly making them a band that sounds all their own. They self-recorded and released their debut album, Devil Is Fine, in 2016, and since then have two more albums, an EP, and a live album under their belt. Every single one of those is worth your time. Seriously, I cannot recommend this band enough, and their discography is only about two, two and a half hours long at this point. You could easily do that in an evening or an afternoon. Sounds like a really good fucking time to me, just ear-chugging all of Zeal and Ardor's records. So let's get into it. Let's listen to this song again. It's barely three minutes long. There's not a whole lot that we're going to talk about. We're just going to have a lot of fun listening to this song. So without further ado, everybody, here is Zeal and Ardor and their song, Got to Damarung. You can try to sit still during this song, but I don't think it's going to work. I sure as hell am not. <laughs> Manuel's voice here. It gets so much better. Are you ready? Listen to this call and response right here. Here it comes! Once again, do it with me this time, everybody. Let's fucking go. Oh, my 
drums! Let's fucking go! My headphones almost flew right the fuck off. Ah! So yeah, a song that is short, sweet, to the point. Not a whole lot of moving parts in that one. Again, you have that main riff that comes up over and over again, uh, causing me to break my neck. I, don't, I hope that yours is doing all right, that you don't have any whiplash or anything like that. But my fucking God. Um, lyrics are in German. We'll get into that. I think that the overall theory of this song, right, is basically a no gods, no masters. Um, God or Damarung literally translates to Twilight of the Gods. Maybe, possibly. Um, if you get into the ethos of this band, the former slaves calling upon these dark gods to destroy all current deities and take over their own life and their own world. Because, again... You are the ma you are your own god, basically. I think that is the crux of this song: is you are your own god. Don't let anybody else tell you what the fuck you can do or can't do or anything like that. You are in control of your life. Really fucking empowering, which makes sense given the amount of energy and the amount of just like Aah! full bore headbanging that you want to do in this song. Aah! I interviewed Manuel when this album came out, and he was originally not sure about writing a song in German. He was like, is anybody going to fucking get this? Like, who who is going to care? Uh, and then he remembered that Ramstein is one of the biggest fucking bands in the world, and they sing only in German. So after that, he was like, ah, fuck it, I'm just going to do it anyway. But this first verse over here, it says, wash the idols from the wall. Burn away the lies. Take from gods what they will and what is yours by right scream. To me, that just says, take back what's yours, right? You are free. Take back what's yours. Your oppressors are no longer here. Just fucking scream out and live your life. Let's listen to that build up from the first I don't know, chorus, the first cry of Gatadamarang, building up that riff slowly before going full bore over the cliff is just a fucking moment, y'all. It's a fucking moment. The writings on the wall and they'll be here today. The gods you knew before are dying anyway. Fuck all those gods, right? Just beautiful. Just fucking beautiful. Live, that goes off without question. Oh my god. Also, that line, the gods you knew before are dying anyway, is such a line, right? Basically saying, change is coming, whether you're ready or not, so get in line or get out of the way. So other than just playing that main riff over and over and over again and headbanging until the end of time, I wanted to play the slow down, that interlude, the, I don't know, when it almost seems like the heavens have kind of opened up and you have a peek into the God's kingdom before you know all of it is about to be turned into hellfire and shit and stuff like that. I thought that this was really cool in an otherwise relatively straightforward songs. The guitar parts that are going in here and the different flourishes and the different accents really lend itself to this and cause it, like we talked about in Green Lung or like we talked about with Can You Hear the Rain, stopping that song and kind of suspending you in animation for a little bit and pulling the reins back before going full bore into the next part, which of course the next part is just the riff. That's all we're calling it now, the riff. Behold the sky, so we will fight. Scream your name to rule again. How can we... Very, very cool. And the, the whole, like, how can we believe their lives when the fallen will now rise? Basically showing them that the gods are hypocrites uh, and fuck them. People have been downtrodden for too long and now we're going to get up and do something about it. Very empowering message. Very fucking cool. Very heavy metal. 
And finally, the last thing I wanted to mention was something that I needed a little bit of help with because I am an actual moron. So shout out to Genius Users, Director Wolfdog, and Syntax for the info on this one. Um, the last true line of this before the call and response bit that comes back one more time before the end of the song is really a series of lines that was taken from a 19th century poem called the sorcerer's apprentice if you don't know what that is that's okay for the most part i didn't either until i realized oh this is fucking mickey in the goddamn fantasia put on the sorcerer's hat and started weaving magic and bad shit started happening all over the place it says wander wander on and on so that water might flow and gush abundantly and fill the bath. This is basically the same thing in the song, except it looks like the words have been changed so that the words water flow translates literally to gods die. So wander, wander on and on so that gods may die. Is this a word of warning a little bit saying that, hey, you're bringing these dark gods up from the depths? Maybe something bad is going to happen, right? I don't know. It's a curious, curious point. Using this old poem that has a very clear moral in it. Let me know what you think on that one. I had to get help from people on the internet for that one. Maybe you're much smarter than I am and have some ideas in there. But all of these lyrics through... Basically, all of their releases can be interpreted in a multitude of different ways. So I'm seeing that this song is about no gods, no masters. But what do you think about this one? Love to hear your thoughts. Put them down in the comments, my friends. Fuck it, before we go, let's listen to the riff one more time. My neck's already hurting, but I'm a glutton for punishment. Bass run up there. All right, folks, that's going to do it for me and this discussion of God or Damarung by Zeal and Ardor. We will, without question, listen to more Zeal and Ardor in the days, weeks, and years to come. And, yeah, let me know what you thought about that song in there. As we discussed, let me know what you thought of the lyrics, what you think that those translations mean. If you see anything different um, than I see or that some of the people in the comments see. You can let me know what other Zeal and Ardor songs that you want to hear. You can let me know what other metal songs you want to hear. We're doing songs that we can really sink our teeth into, not just first-time reactions. And I would love 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 to take some of your suggestions and work these into the videos that we do so hey if you liked what you saw go ahead and like go ahead and subscribe uh go ahead and follow me on instagram and twitter if you want at stay puffed underscore malo and come check me out on twitch i'm on there twitch.tv slash stay puffed underscore malo we listen to full albums we do discoveries every week we spend fridays listening to the latest tunes and latest singles albums all that shit and just have a good time listening to metal and uh being friends with each other and everything like that so until i see you on the next video video y'all take care of yourself take care of each other stay heavy stay puffed